Today we're going to be talking about the best indoor real estate drone for 2023. Guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Justin Davis with over 10 years of FPV experience for flying outdoor, indoor. And today we're gonna to talk about real estate, indoor, single shot fly throughs, the really smooth, flowy shots that you've seen. Maybe you wanna incorporate that into your real estate video drone business, and we can do that. We can talk about the ones that are our favorites, the best flow through the house, and the best throttle response. When you're picking out a Cinewoop for real estate, the most important thing to have is something that flies nice and level and true and really holds a line through the house. And that's what we're looking for today. We're not looking for any bouncy high throttle situation or high power type of drones. We're gonna talk about the ones to avoid, which ones are great, and the one that we pick that's our favorite today. So let's go ahead and get started with the first of a few different drones. And by the end of this video, you're gonna know what's our overall favorite and probably our most portable pick and budget pick. Here we go. We're gonna start out with the crowd favorite GEP RC Cinelog 20, and we're gonna talk about some of the things about this one we don't like. It does start under $500, which is great. It is small and versatile, and it can fly on 4S. It can also carry a DK type of GoPro. It weighs in at 138 grams, and with the battery, the 4S 650 on board, that's gonna get us about a four and a half minute, five minute flight time, still under 200 grams, not bad. Now, indoors, when you're flying this quad, you're gonna see some inconsistencies and I want you to pay real close attention during this flight. Now, when we're flying this one, the biggest thing is the way that the quad shuffles around left and right and with the throttle response, it's very lightweight. So you see a lot of adjustment for the altitude. Now, as you're flying along, it's, it's very jumpy and it has a kind of a small wheelbase on this airframe. So it is very nimble. And that's not really what we're looking for when it comes to interior single shot fly through videos. You don't want something that's gonna be kind of bouncy and uh, maybe getting out of control for your interior fly through videos. That's not gonna be a good for you or your client. And for those inconsistencies, that's why I feel like this one is not cut out for real estate video, for professional real estate video. The DJI Avada is also a crowd favorite. You can go down to Best Buy, buy one of these ready to fly and just set it up. But you see that auto braking there? That's what we don't like. We don't want it to come to a stop during our single shot fly through. It creates an inconsistency for the client and that's really not what you're looking for for pro video. You just wanna keep scooting along and making nice clean altitude runs with nice flowy interior shots. That's what we're really looking for in a Cinewoop and a single shot fly through drone. Now moving on to the GEP RC Cinebot 30. You guys talk about this one a lot in the forums and I can't blame you. This one's great, but this one's re gonna require more advanced pilot skills. Flying it on 6S indoors is gonna be challenging for anyone that is brand new to flying Cinewoops or FPV in general. If you are gonna buy a Nevada, just go ahead and buy a Nevada instead of a Cinebot 30 if you're a brand new guy. Now, if you're someone with experience, there are people out there who put a GoPro on here with stabilized video for interiors, fly through shots, and they do quite well. But you're still gonna have moments where you get a little bit out of control because really, where the Cinebot 30 likes to be is outside. Now, I can show you some examples of the high throttle maneuvers right here, and it really will rip and fly like kind of just about any type of freestyle drone out there. It has a great power system on here, but it's really too much for interior fly throughs in, in my opinion. But outdoors, I really love flying. It has all that extra power on 6S that I'm looking for and about a 10 to one power ratio with the power system on board. It has really, really nice throttle response, but just too much for interior shots. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on now to the Beta FPV Pico Pavo. And this is one of our newer favorites, mainly because this one is a lot smaller and it can be slowed way down. And you can see here, just kind of some outdoor flying footage right here. This was one of our first tests with the Pico Pavo and it let me get really precise and kind of get in close on gaps. So if you're looking for something that you could take an interior shot, single shot fly through with, and do something like this, get really tight in on things around the house. Maybe you fly through the chandelier 
uh, impressive shots like that can be achieved with the Pico Pavo. Um, so that, that's a really impressive feature of having something so small. And your insurance purposes don't have to be so great with this one because you're not likely to break something inside. And then when you really want to crank it up outside, even though this quad's on 2S, it will power loop like some of the bigger quads out there and it'll do it with speed, which is pretty impressive for such a small little whoop style quad with DJI 03 on board. We love this one and we just continue to fly this one daily. Uh, and this one makes me really happy because it's way under uh, 200 grams. It's around 100 grams total takeoff weight. It's super small. Um, and it has the, the prop guards on here. They're, they're not super durable, but it's nice if you combine it with an 03. You have a really nice lightweight airframe. Now the Cinelog 35 V2, just go ahead and stop, stop right here. People have been talking about and asking about this one, even though it's 550, people have been asking, can we use this one for interior shots? Um, I would say don't even, don't do it. Stop what you're thinking about the Cinelog 3 V2. 35 v2 it's just it, it, it makes me frustrated when people talk about this for interior shots because here is my interior shots with it and i've been flying fpb for over 10 years uh i i'm able to fly indoors on 6s and and people commented on this video they're like wow i can't believe you can actually fly this thing indoors it's a beast and and it really wants to be outside that's where the Cinelog 35 v2 really rips i mean even harder than the Cinebot 30. So both the Cinebot 30 and the Cinelog 35 V2, for, for me, in my opinion, they're more like exterior type of cine whoops for vi cinema video uh, and a little bit of freestyle. So th those have dual purpose and what we call duality on the channel. So uh, I, I would skip this one for any type of interior shots. Just not going to be quite what you're looking for and if you're brand new it's going to be super hard and this is it sitting next to the Cinebot 30 and this is our pick if you want to put a full-size GoPro on it and do some exterior shots fly around the yard through the trees and things like that and our number one choice iFlight Defender 25 238 grams with the battery under 250 grams total takeoff weight here's a little example of the Cinebot 30 the Cinelog 20 and the DJI Vada next to it coming in at 555 dollars this one is a pretty good deal for what it is. Also ready to fly cheaper with the Integra goggles than the DJI Vada Pro View combo at 1428 currently. So this is the Defender 25. And we gotta jump right into this and get specific about why we think this one is better for you. Mainly because of the power to weight ratio is a little lower. It's not so high and it'll allow you to get a nice smooth altitude shot, very controlled and consistent lines through the interior and that's what we're looking for this power system is actually powered down in comparison to something like the Cinebot 30 or the, the even the Cinelog feels faster and more nimble the Defender just flies better and you really have to fly it for yourself to see what I'm talking about there's a lot of people out there who took our advice on this one and they're happy for using the Defender 25 for a single shot fly through camera you can also put any type of DK GoPro on this one as well and it does decent outside as well it'll slow down through the trees you can tree explore with it and look at the control here this is an example of how controlled the throttle response is it's not jumpy and I can still navigate this larger 2.5 inch quad through the trees uh, so I, I, I really do think that this one is, is gonna be your best bet for 2023 if you're looking to do it interior single shot fly throughs for real estate it's my best pick so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed all the video that you watched in this video examples of each different drone on the bench and that you come away with something from this video from our experiences i mean the iflight defender 25 for me is the best controlled and most precise drone out there uh, without the auto brake assist like the dji avada has it just flies a little bit better through the house and it doesn't seem to kind of lose its edge on when you're making a line and it's super important that when you're coming through the house that you have a maintain a nice 
easy and true throttle and a consistent throttle and not something that's overpowered or over jumpy. The Cinelog 3.5 V2 right here, the motors are a little bit large for interior shots and it will just have you kind of overreacting with the throttle as you're making a turn or cornering. So we like this power system on here because it is smaller and it's it's even smaller than the, the DJI Vada motors. So you're gonna even have more precision with this one for the power to weight ratio. And that's really what it all boils down to is power to weight ratio and keeping a consistent line on your flow, your single fly through shot. That's super important. So uh, with honorable mention in this video, this is a brand new addition to uh, sub 250 G quads is the Beta FPV Pavo Pico. And this was not really something that I thought would be something for interior real estate, but what this one does is it comes in with a very cheap battery. You can get a 2S450 or even a 550 on here and get close to five minutes flight time uh, for a battery that costs around six to eight dollars a piece. So you can have a handful of these batteries, make a bunch of flights and pick the best one. This one was really portable, small, and it'll let you go places for those real estate videos that the other drones just can't do. So this was our honorable mention, but you're gonna have to build up one of these yourself. I'll put the links down below for this one and the iFlight Defender, and in order of appearance of which ones we like the best, one through five, and you can decide which one you wanna get based on our experiences. But I appreciate you watching this example of what we feel like is the best real estate drone for interior videos in 2023. If you'd like more information, please comment down below. I'd love to help you out. Make your decision based on your needs because everybody's needs are different larger houses, smaller houses, uh, or maybe even you're doing Airbnbs for people. So there's all kinds of different jobs you can get out there with Cinewoop interior drone videos, fly-throughs, bars, restaurants, nightclubs, there's a ton of stuff. So if you want more information, please do comment down below or join up on our Discord. Like I said before, Discord is popping. We have over a thousand pilots in there now, and we'd love to see you there as well, making friends with us in the FPV community. Guys, take care. I'm Justin Davis, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.